Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I have another really fun book review for you. This one you've probably already seen on Goodreads and Instagram. I've been very excited about it, but it is White Hot Truth by Danielle Laporte. talk about the desire map before as a way of setting goals and really tapping into what you want to cultivate and uh, enhance in your life and that's a process that I do every year around uh, Christmas New Year's time and I use the core desired feelings in my planner and what I do on a regular basis Danielle Laporte, though, talks about a lot of other things on her blog, and she has a lot of other projects going on that are really great. And this most recent book is kind of a culmination of a lot of those projects and ideas, and it's really meant for people who are light workers, healers, people on spiritual journeys, anyone who has even like a tiny little bit of foot in the new age pagan world and it's an honest look at all of those things and what it means for us in our real life. Some of the points the author makes I think are particularly of interest to people who consider themselves to be pagan. Her chapter on spiritual teachers I thought was really interesting and the whole point was that we have a lot of amazing teachers in the world and we also have some people who are pretty lame who claim to be more than they really are and are just selling stuff or maybe even just selling themselves in not a healthy way. And the author in this book really points out that we are our ultimate teachers, that the guru is us, and that our ability to distill the truth from all of the things that we read and learn and experience is, is the most important part of our spiritual path. She also has a tap chapter on power tools, as she calls it, but basically, crystals and energy grids and you know all the sort of tools and frou-frou that we might accumulate in our spiritual practice kind of talking about when we go too far on that spectrum and kind of put all of our emphasis in tools rather than actual practice and spiritual journeying and how we can find a better balance of you know yeah tools are really useful sometimes but they are not the end-all be-all and I thought that was a great chapter and one that I often think about when watching pagan videos, sometimes people get so carried away in, um, you know, haul videos, which are fun to watch, right? But if all you're doing is buying crystals, then what is your spiritual practice really about? The author delves into some really intense topics as well. So talking about discernment, talking about healing, talking about uh, when spiritual sex and how that can go the wrong way or the right way. There's just a lot of really juicy truth in here and it's delivered in such a easy to digest way that still leaves you thinking and it lingers after you read a chapter. You're really thinking about it for the next few days. The style of writing really allows a reader to enjoy what they're reading without feeling overwhelmed kind of take it all in and still feel that like power punch of like, ooh, yeah, this is, this is good. This is what I want to be thinking about or experiencing. The physical book itself is really beautiful. It's a hardback and like a nice size. It's not too big or overwhelming. The inside is hot pink. Each chapter is formatted really well. You start off with a truth bomb which is an app you can get or a set of cards you can get from her website. They're really pithy kind of statements that you can use as a mantra for the day or even just, you know, something to think about for meditation. I think they're great. The chapters also have kind of subsections and little quotes and everything is formatted in such a way that it's really easy to read. She bolds certain parts of the chapter and sometimes she formats pages that are more like poetry than actual prose, which makes for a lovely reading experience. I also listened to this book as an audiobook, which is divine. Danielle Laporte, her speaking voice and her ability to do spoken word and poetry is phenomenal. Um, so good. And the audiobook for this is no different from her other work. It's really well done and you get to hear 
like the author's authentic storytelling ability and her authentic like laughter or you know compassion in her voice and it's really really a great audiobook this book is a great summer read it's very short and you can pick it up and put it down frequently without feeling overwhelmed or like you're losing the train of thought so if you're looking for a book this summer and you don't want to get into something super you know lengthy and hardcore studying this is what you want because you'll get the results of hardcore studying and the really intense reading without that overwhelming process and it's more about how this you know can sympathize and resonate with your own life rather than being like my way is the only way it's really about how do we find balance in our spiritual practice? We find an authentic path for ourselves and where does the truth lie in all of these amazing practices and ideas and this world that is kind of being bombarded in our culture with kind of this hipster, new agey thing. You know, it's very trendy to be in a spiritual practice these days. And where do we find the truth in the spiritual practice outside of that trend? In the comments below, I would love to hear if you know of any authors similar to Danielle Laporte that kind of combine poetry and prose, uh, especially those who talk about more spiritual ideas. Thanks for watching, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.